Welcome to the video for the Agilent Digital Systems Courseware Solution. This video introduces a complete out-of-box solution focused on the teaching of digital system design, verification, and implementation. In this video, we will introduce you to the different aspects of the solution and show a quick demonstration of a teaching lab. The Agilent Technologies Digital Systems Courseware was designed to enhance knowledge in Fundamentals of Digital Logic, Digital System Design Methodology, Digital Building Block Designs, Design Verification, Usage of EDA Tools, and FPGA Applications. This lab station is an integrated curriculum with a complete set of instruments, a development board, teaching slides, and lab experiments. The courseware covers many topics, from introduction to logic circuits, to sequential circuits, to programmable logic devices, FPGA implementations, and finally synthesis options. Let's go through the setup overview of the courseware. The setup consists of an Altera DE2 development board as the FPGA implementation platform, an Agilent InfiniVision 7000 series mixed signal oscilloscope, a PC loaded with Altera Quartus II and the MSO FPGA probe for Altera, and a PS2 keyboard connected from the DE2 board. The following demo lab implements a simple design that reads PS2 keyboard scan code outputs and displays the scan codes at the LCD module. The Agilent MSO is used to observe signals at the PS2 keyboard and the LCD module. The FPGA Dynamic Probe feature of the MSO is utilized to observe different sets of signals seamlessly without having to reassign signals and recompile the design due to limited physical probe wires on the FPGA. This block diagram shows an overview of the connection between the DE2 board, the MSO, and the computer. The DE2 board is connected to the computer via USB blaster for FPGA configuration and dynamic signal bank switching by the MSO FPGA Dynamic Probe software. The MSO is also connected to the computer for reconfiguring the signal list when signal bank switching is performed. Signals at the FPGA to be observed are outputted through the expansion header pins at the DE2 board. They are connected to the MSO using the flying lead probes. After configuring the MSO and DE2, we can walk through an example lab experiment. On the MSO, you can observe that the PS2 clock signal is sending out clock pulses when the PS2 data signal is generating some serial data sequences. After receiving the serial data sequence, the design pulses the scan ready signal once and generate a parallel keyboard scan code output. Now let's switch to another signal bank, the LCD. We simply select a new signal bank in the software configuration. Now we are observing the LCD signals. Observe that the LCD enable signal is pulsed high for a certain duration to initiate a write command, while the LCD data signal provides a data to be written. This demo has shown how easy it is to use the Agilent Mixed Signal Oscilloscope for real-time verification of FPGA designs. Coupled with the MSO FPGA Dynamic Probe feature, multiple sets of signal banks can be observed without having the hassle to reassign and recompile the design. The Digital Systems Courseware introduces this powerful feature in its lab exercises to allow students to learn state-of-the-art tools and instrument control in FPGA designs and verification. For more information, please visit the Agilent Educators Corner website, intended to be the resource site for teachers, students, and researchers. You will find many teaching labs, instrument resources, and educator promotions at Educators Corner. Agilent education product offerings aim to help enhance your higher education curriculum and research capabilities. Visit us at www.agilent.com 
slash find slash edu.